this is something I was curious about. Now, what I have in here, or actually what I have in here, is reverse osmosis deionized water. Um, my dad makes it for aquarium use. Um, any, any aquarium store you should be able to get it at. But I wanted to see how it would react with the fuel cell. So let's uh let's see how it reacts. Go ahead and put some amperage on it. I mean it's producing. Don't get me wrong. But it ain't producing as near as much as it was with regular tap water. I don't know if any of you have uh, watched my other video or videos uh, sent one to uh, the guy I got this design from and I put another one up just for uh, poo and giggles but I mean it's producing but it ain't, it ain't nothing it ain't nothing like it was I promise you so I've got uh, got some baking soda so what I'm gonna do is let that run just for a second maybe let it see, see if it'll get a little warm uh, it's not hardly drawing <laughs> crap uh, I got the assist set on 10 amps uh, it probably wants to draw more than that once I get some electrolyte back in the water but um, yeah uh, I, I guess the uh, the cleaner the water the less electrolytes there are in it some people may have already figured that out I just now started this so uh, piss off but um, I'm gonna go away for a second and put some electrolyte in this water and uh, see what happens uh, I really want to see if the water will stop turning orange I don't know what that is it always collects on the top of it but uh, I, I would say uh, rust uh oxidation from iron in the water i guess i don't know uh that's 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 my best guess but uh you know we'll be back in just seconds and see what happens